But one man Eileen Ford does associate with in Paris is this man, the head of Karen Models, one of the largest and most prestigious agencies in the country. His name is Jean-Luc Brunel. The girls told us Brunel is very careful about the models who are under the protection of Eileen Ford. But Courtney and Sherry, who are not Ford models, told us about the dinners he invites his other girls to attend with his male friends. It's a meat market. You are there for the purpose of somebody wanting to take you home to bed. He is acting as a matchmaker. He's got the agency. He's got the girls. His friends say, oh, Jean-Luc, I'd like to have, you know, I'd like to meet some girls or we're having a party tonight. Can you bring some girls? And what happens if you say no? You don't work. Now you've actually known, be very careful on this, you actually have known that he has made someone pay a professional penalty for saying no. I know, I paid a penalty for saying no. no. I was personally proposed to by himself, Jean-Luc, and I said, no way, I laughed in his face, and I had no more appointments, and I never worked. What about the fact that people say when you come over here, you've come over knowing what you're getting into? I mean, everyone knows. How can you know what you're getting into? How can you know what you're getting into? This is like a foreign country. You know, I mean, I'm from Florida, little city, Pompano Beach, you know, I mean, come on, how am I going to know what goes on in, in um, Paris, you know, or Milan? I mean, I don't even speak the language. I don't know anyone, you know. I'm in a, I'm in a new environment, you know. I don't know anyone. I have to trust the people that I come over here with. I mean, I'm naive. I'm young. A lot of these bigwigs at the agencies literally hold, have a scale where in this hand they have your career and in this hand they have what they want. And your career can go up if they get what they want. If they don't get it, your career goes down. Many girls ever come to you and tell you that Jean-Luc invites them to parties where he has male friends and it's clear what the arrangement is when you get there and that you are expected to be the friend of his male friends. I don't believe that that... I mean, I believe they said it. But you don't believe it's true? I find it hard to believe it's true. We've been told I have heard, oh, I'm sure you have. If you wouldn't be asking me if you weren't told that was true. But I like to think that our girls are not treated that way. And I like to think that were that true, I would know it because I've broken off more than one association here in my life. And you'd break it off yes, immediately I would. if it you were bet true. I would. Discotheques like the Bandouche and the Palace, models are admitted free. When we filmed at the Bandouche, Jean-Luc Brunel was there. A number of models told us he has used cocaine heavily and offered it to the girls along with help in their careers. Many of the girls who spoke with us said openly that they had been regular cocaine users. But some warned that there were things that went beyond cocaine. This one asked to be photographed in shadow. So you first met Jean-Luc Brunel in a nightclub mm -hmm. when he offered you drugs, mm -hmm. cocaine. Mm -hmm. And Jean-Luc, did he use drugs? Oh, yes. You say, oh, yes, a yes. lot? Well, that's, that's why I used to like to see him, because he'd always give me a little a vial of cocaine and say, you know, go have a good time in the bathroom. That was more or less, he did that with all the girls. And everyone else this girl uh, told us a few years ago she went to Jean-Luc's house with a few of his friends. She said a powerful hallucinogenic drug was slipped into her drink and that Jean-Luc kept urging her to go in and take a bath. Um, I started hallucinating and at first, you know, I was very confusing because it was very scary because if you don't know that you've been drugged and all of a sudden you start hallucinating, it's, that's very scary. She said she managed to get out of the house but stayed disoriented for 24 hours. But this ex-model says several years ago she went to Jean-Luc's house and didn't get away. She asked to have her voice and face disguised. He gave you a drink? Yes. You drank it and then what? I blacked out. I don't remember anything after that. The Nothing next thing you remember was being in this man's bed. Who was he? Do I have to say the name? It was John Luke from Karen's Modeling Agency. You were raped? Yes, I do know that. You're sure? Yes, I'm positive. I'm, I know. 
You think everybody knows this about Jean-Luc Bonnell? Oh, yes. A lot of people know that. A lot of people. They continue to deal with him. Everyone continues to deal with I don't know why. We played a tape of the second girl's story of drugs and rape to Eileen Ford. I don't know what to tell you. That's horrible. And this is the first time you've ever heard one of these stories. Absolutely. Because we have talked to five other girls who say that they have had drugs put in their drinks by Jean-Luc or Jean-Luc's friends. I hope you're wrong. And for his sake, I hope you're wrong. Eileen Ford says she's sure Jean-Luc has used drugs, and she even warned him about it. I have certainly asked him never to have drugs around in front of my models. That's all you've ever said to him? Well, that's a pretty fair warning. But were you ever told about this and ever raised it with him? The drugs? You mean being doped up and put to bed? Getting girls drugged yeah. up yeah. and in the bed with him or his friend? No. Have no. girls ever come back and complained to you that he took them to parties with people who dealt in drugs? No. So here they are, the fresh new faces from Omaha and Washington and Pompano Beach and Wichita. Every girl hoping for a lightning bolt that will transform an ordinary teenager into a superstar. While not far away, the wiser and older girls of 19 and 20 say someone has to warn them what may lie ahead. I can't really see any solution to the problem that's in Paris at this moment because I think there'll always be people who are sending their girls over thinking, well, she's different. Every mother believes that her daughter is different. And it's sad. I think it really is sad when she could have been going to her junior prom. She was hanging out at the band douche with a bunch of playboys, shoving cocaine up her nose and ruining her reputation and her life. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Jean-Luc Brunel declined to give us an interview, but Eileen Ford has since told us that Brunel denied to her the allegations against him. Despite that, however, she told us that she has notified Brunel that she will not send him any new models unless this matter is all cleared up.